I mean, I don't know. Okay, let me just say like this. What's up, it's your girl Melanie, and welcome back to another video. Um, if you're not subscribed, please make sure you already subscribe and join the MG gang, 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 gang. gang. <laughs> okay, so I'm back. Y'all ain't seen me sit and talk like this in a minute. So today, tonight, whatever you may have, I got a little bit of time. AJ is asleep. I'm really gonna try to get this video done i need a new camera i need some new batteries or something because it's not working out right now but um yeah welcome to another video this is a postpartum update video so, real quick before aj wake up because i don't even know how much time i got so we're just gonna get straight to it you know this ain't gonna work this ain't gonna work baby And now it's the next day. <laughs> I didn't make it, y'all. I did not make it. But we're going to try this again. I got this new baby monitor now. So hopefully I'm good. We're going to get through it. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. This is a six-month postpartum update, you guys. Um... It's been a crazy, crazy half of a year, y'all, with baby AJ and dealing with myself, my mental health, and physical health, and other personal reasons. Um, I really, really wish that I could have done a three-month update and just brought you on the journey from him being a newborn to now, but um, I just didn't really have it in me didn't have it in me I didn't want to put too much on myself as a first time mom first things first y'all know if you watch my videos you know that I am a breastfeeding mom um, and I am still well I've started breastfeeding and I'm still breastfeeding to this day um, I don't feel like I'm a quit like I'm really enjoying it a lot um, and it's saving me a lot of money <laughs> I need some chapstick Every time, every time. But hey, let's get in the middle. Okay, let's see the ceiling fan. All right, huh? Put you right there. So you can stare at that. Here's Snoopy. Hmm. Nah, you never been. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna get through this. Okay, so. Uh, Alright, we're gonna try to multitask. <laughs> Am I blurry? Focus. Thumbnail. Now, I ain't never been with a better, mm, she called, no, now, I ain't never been with a better, mm, she calls her, I didn't say that's how that, medicine, but I'm quick, now, I ain't never been with a better, mm, she comes, so I added to that, tell her, medicine, but I'm calling her, Mary, my strength is in the A, but all right, then I left at the A, but I tell you, don't look, you say, I'm going to be numb, I just want to do that thing. It's him just staring at me. Okay, so yeah, y'all. Now I can talk louder. Because he's up. So, yeah. Six months. Time has flown by. I've been a mom for six months. A real mom. You know what I'm saying? But y'all, this breastfeeding journey, as I said, like I don't intend on quitting no time soon. I'm enjoying it. Um, I haven't really been experiencing any, like, 
pain. Of course, when he's lashed on a different, um, when he's lashed on the wrong way, I fix it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I had a lactation cons consultation or consultant um, during the two days that I spent in hospital before being discharged after giving birth to him. Which was, well, it kind of helped, but, um, the doula that I had, she, um, she, what's the word, educated me on some things as well. And then it's like, when you know, like, if it don't feel right, that's with anything, it's, it's wrong. You know what I'm saying? So, you just gotta fix it. So, um, I'm six months in, six months strong, six more months to go. I would do it till he's, like, two years or maybe four years, but baby girl, I'm like, my my breasts they little they little low and I ain't trying to get them to get a little more low <laughs> like that's the only thing like and, and that is one of the cons but I was gonna get to that but I, I'll get back to that later okay so recovery how long did it take and we we're talking about the healing process, the recovery process after giving birth. Had a vaginal birth, no epidural, no medications, no nothing. It's all natural birth. And um, if you didn't know that, I have my delivery, labor and delivery vlog up on the channel. So I'll put a little, it'll be on one of these sides. And you can just pause here if you want to and go check that out. It's, uh, I don't want to say it's intense, but it's, it's, it's a must see it's a must see and i need to do a reaction video on that too but anyway so um recovery i did tear when i pushed him out i got a second degree tear so i got two two stitches come on really it wasn't bad like it wasn't bad at all um i don't know maybe i do have a high pain to tolerance but for me, um, it wasn't bad. However, the stitches, they were like the dissolvable ones. So, it, the stitches, they dissolved, they gone. It's been six months, so, yeah. I honestly haven't even looked down there. Like, I don't even know how, how I look no more. <laughs> I don't even know how she look. I need to, though. I want to look. I want to look, but I, I don't know how she looked. Like, I know how she looked before, but I don't know how she looked now. Anyways, that's probably too much information. So, recovery didn't take long. I think they tell you, I don't remember how long it, say it usually takes for you to heal from a vaginal burn, but um, I was able to walk afterwards after they stitched me up and they moved me to a different room um of course i walked slow um i kind of had a little it was a little wobble but i was able to walk and everything so I, that was that was good um and what else oh they say that you want they you have to pass stool after you give birth like within the like you can't they won't discharge you if you don't pass stool like if you don't boo boo if you don't boo boo then you gotta stay because that means there's something something happened with your bladder or whatever something happened i'll correct myself in the editing of this video but i was able to poop to boo boo to poop or whatever um i was scared though because i had you know i just had a baby i was stitched up so i was pretty 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 scared so like, I was real tense but it was it was okay um without within those first two days I was eating like the hospital meals and they you don't get to pick what you want to eat I know at some hospitals you can like pick and choose what you want to eat just to get some good fiber in so that you can pass stool but um I heard that sometimes it's not even a fiber situation like you don't need fiber sometimes it's just your body you know what I'm saying but I, I boo boo and I was proud and I did it all by myself within those first two days AJ was in the NICU um because he had a meconium plug speaking of passing school so um I was you know focused I was able to to myself and focus on myself while he was in a new do being treated uh, by them so um 
yeah so i missed his first poop i missed his first bath like i was able to give him his first bath and um i think those are the only like first time experiences that i didn't get to experience in the hospital that you usually do which is upsetting but it is what it is now he's six months and he's home that's all that matters i am well i think i got time yeah so i did not make a video to show you guys like what i brought to the hospital well yes i did yes i did in the labor and no i didn't that day i was going to show y'all what's in my hospital bag but i didn't because i ended up having to have going to labor that day be induced that day so i have a few things with me that i took with me that played a very important part in my two days in the hospital and after during postpartum so i was bleeding that's probably too much <laughs> like okay so when you have a baby you do bleed it's the honest truth you bleed so i bled for like full on for like a week yeah maybe like four five days after that five, after those five days um it just started to go away i didn't bleed all month it was just like a week as if like i had a regular menstrual period like my regular menstrual periods before were like four three to four days and they would wear off by the end of that week um so i took all the hospital pads <laughs> i took all the hospital pads and to this day like i still got a big old pack of them like i have yeah tons of hospital pads but i did buy my own pads too by always like i wear uh i'll just call them sanitary napkins for those who like clear clean clean ears but um i did buy my own sanitary napkins which i should have just ran through these yeah. i wore these well in the hospital i wore their pads and i wore the undies that they give you which was real real comfortable and sometimes when i did get uncomfortable because when you sleep these are wingless and those they're pretty secure the undies that they give you are pretty secure but i like to be like super like supported so i also bought with the always pads i also bought the always underwear and i have some left in here and they look like this maybe it's too bright they look like this and y'all these were these are good and once i started to have a lighter menstrual flow menstrual flow whatever you want to call it i wore my always um sanitary napkins pads it, with my underwear with my regular underwear and tights also um i had some dermaplast is it in here it's in another box y'all i'm all packed up if y'all been watching like i'm packed up it's in another box but the dermaplast works oh my god like oh them my stitches because sometimes them little stitches burn a little bit because i mean like i said i had a little pain i had a little pain they give you medicine and all this stuff for pain but i didn't take it i didn't take none of those pills i don't like taking pills and unless it's like super unbearable so where are you going baby where are you going i wish i could see this you really can but i'm not <laughs> i don't know how to do that hey so they give you ointment prescription pills for pain and the derma dermaplast i got like three cans of that when i kid you i kid you not like before i left i had them them pads left got them up i had some they look like doggy pads you know the little pads that you lay on the floor for your for the puppies to you know use the bathroom on they have those snatched them up i was just <laughs> I took everything and I took two I asked for two extra cans of the Dermaplast and I asked for more underwear so and I took that with me and you can do that too that Dermaplast felt so good it's like a cooling sensation oh my god but anyways it helps really 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 well 
So if you can't get in the hospital when you leave, make sure you go see a local CVS, Walgreens, maybe Walmart, I don't know, Target, they probably have it, but CVS, Walgreens, probably to get it. <laughs> so go get that. Also, this was my little boy. I'm about to get boy. Okay, this was my little travel bag by Estee Lauder. I didn't know it was by Estee Lauder. Look at me fancy. Where did I get this? Probably Target. It has some stuff that I use that you can make sure that you don't forget either. Deodorant. And I got the spray can. It's him trying to fly. I had some Q-tips that I didn't. Did I? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Because they open. Q-tips. I like to keep my ears clean. I don't know about y'all. Um, hand lotion. I got this exfoliant brush because I had to wash my face really, really well because maybe I was sweating. I, had, I think I had a little makeup on the day before. Um, my facial cleanser, micellar water, and moisturizer. Okay, body wash. Y'all, they tell you when you have a vaginal birth, they tell you not to use any soaps and stuff like that. So I really just put this on my skin. I wash my body, but you can't put none down there. That's pretty much it. That's important. It's some little liners in here, but um, I don't think. Oh, I still got my little hospital little wrist thing here up in here. But yeah, that's pretty much all that you need. Everything else that they will provide unless you want some extra in, uh, you know, like your clothes, your socks. And last but not least, and I almost forgot because you know, even though you can't put soap down there, you gotta, gotta clean it up. Gotta keep it clean and dry, you know. So, um, they give you like this little bottle that you put water in and you, I wish I, I still got it, but I put some, some coconut oil in and I use it for coconut oil to put in my scalp or I use it to put on my body. But I went and got a Frida Mom Perry bottle and let me take it out. And it looks like this. You just pull that thing up. And the water comes out here. You just fill, put some water in it, hot water, like they tell you, and you just rinse it off. You that thing in there, down there like that. Squeeze, squeeze, spray, spray. And that's it. So, as we know, the body changes, right? Now you got a new body, you done had a, you done had a baby, you know? So it's like, where are we now, y'all? What's up? You want your passing? So my body then versus my body now. I should do a little clip of my body now. But I have videos of my body after delivery. And I think I have it like a week or a few days. A few days after. A week or a few days to a week after. Then I think I have like a three month. And I think that's it. But I will put them in the video and you will see here. Like my my belly, like my stomach went down fast. Like it went down so fast, y'all. And the weight that I had, which I'm like, I'm pretty like, I'm tight. I'm real tight about it because I'm drove. Because I wanted to keep that weight. And it left. Like it left. After at first, like that first week of having him, oh baby, them pounds was gone. So it's like I feel like I'm even smaller. I'm I'm smaller than I was before I had him. 
and I'm I'm assuming breastfeeding took a part in it too but like being toned like the muscles that I did have like all of that it's gone like all of September and October I worked out just pretty much every day in September October I was working out a few days a week to regain my strength you know you know contour my new body you know what I'm saying but all of November I've been slacking and that's my fault but I am working on getting back fit it's just pretty hard because when you breastfeeding and you have a goal to gain breastfeeding make you lose a lot of calories you lose a whole bunch of calories because you're giving those calories to your baby but I'm content with where I am now but once I'm done breastfeeding I was over with like games was coming because I don't know how to do it right now but that's what it is I use a uh, Palmer's body oil and Palmer's cocoa butter lotion which is like my go-to I've been using Palmer's cocoa butter lotion since high school middle school probably um but yeah I've used that I have a uh, stretch marks all around my belly button just a little bit um but they have gone away my stomach has tightened since I had started working out and I don't have that much skin left like uh, some moms may have a whole bunch of skin um so I was very 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 lucky <laughs> I don't know if they played a part in me being so active like I don't know but minimum stretch marks and I use my body oil and um, my skin is now lighter I'm just now getting my skin color back um, my back and the back of my legs are still transitioning but for the most part I got my color back um, I don't know if y'all know or knew I don't remember putting it out there but the back of my body got dark like it was a whole different shade and you can see the line into where it stopped and ends on my body too and his body AJ's body ended up being the same way like he had the same marks behind his arm and his legs too which is pretty weird but yeah for the most part that transition was pretty sweet nice and neat <laughs> It was nice and neat but clothes I need a whole new wardrobe my hips they spread it a little bit they didn't go back so pants is tight pants are tight all of it so but all in all I'm I'm grateful I'm grateful if you do not know like with breastfeeding you don't have a menstrual you don't have a cycle but um y'all i had my first cycle in november it is now december i had my first cycle at the beginning of november and y'all i was so mad i was livid i was livid because i'm like no like i was really enjoying this and now i gotta go buy some tampons and go buy some some pants like now i gotta go buy i was enjoying keeping that that coin in my pocket I didn't cramp or nothing like it just popped up and then I had another one like two weeks after so with breastfeeding you do have irregular menstrual cycles my hormones and everything are, is getting balanced and that's okay <laughs> like it's part of the process the pros and cons to breastfeeding okay so one for me the cons we'll do the cons first your boobs they they drop they get filled with milk and then there's gravity and they get heavy and they stretch and your baby drinks out of them feeds out of them tugs on your boobs and yeah, and yeah. so that's the story of my life and i was like I don't mind getting a little boob job now. I don't mind getting my boobs done. Um, at this point, I'm convinced I just might get my boobs done. Like, for real. Another con is, or well, I want to say it's a con, but it's something that you should consider. Is, you know, your nipples may be flat or inverted. And you may need nipple shields to feed. So that's what I needed. AJ 
fed through a nipple shield that I got in his diaper bag. <laughs> I will show y'all, but um, yeah, for his first two months, or his, yeah, about his first two to three months, he fed from a nipple shield. After that, he didn't need it no more. Like he pretty much pulled pulled out from the suction in. It was easier for him to feed now without the nipple shield. With consistency and dedication, yeah, baby, it'll be good. It's first after first two months, and y'all be good without it. Pros, you don't have to buy formula. Um, you don't have to, yeah, you don't have to spend money on formula. You don't have to clean, buy tons of baby bottles, and we're about cleaning baby bottles all the time, consistently. Um, breast milk is way more nutritious than any formula formula it's like a mimic of breast milk it's a wannabe the bond that you get when you are breastfeeding your child it's a different type of bond it's a different sense of energy that you give and receive within your baby yeah and for the top three it's, those are the best those are the best pros and that's this my son and I'm a breastfeeder. I'ma stand beside him. Yep, that's him. That's mine. I'ma stand beside him. This my baby. Uh, and ain't none of y'all gonna mess with. Him. Ain't that right? Thank you. Okay. If you made it to the end of this video, you are a real MG gang gang. Gang! You loyal. You loyal. And I appreciate you very much. If you are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. You don't watch this whole video. And you can watch all my other videos, but you're not subscribed. Like, what's up? Don't make me beg you. Don't make me beg you. Subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Show love. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to see y'all in the next video. I appreciate y'all for sticking around. I'm really tr trying to figure out how I'm going to be consistent with this. But I will start off saying it in, in, in all my videos. Make sure you guys are staying prayed up, staying positive and patient. And with those three P's, you will get through anything. Thank you and I will see y'all in the next video. Game. Okay.